Hey, in this episode, more shield action! So, here is the disc for that shield. Uh, it's been sanded and primed a couple of times. It, it still needs a little more work, but uh, it's at a pretty good point right now. Uh, for the outer ring on that, I'm cutting that again out of the same foam I used for the shield dome. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Ta -da! And up with this. Uh, and this has been sanded a bunch and shaped to fit, hopefully, around that. I got a line there to line them up. And this piece goes right around there. And then the dome should slide right up and meet the inner lip. Like that. Ta da! All right, the outer ring has been epoxied to the middle dome, and I've been skinning it with this uh, polyurethane resin that I use in a different colors and I'll sand it down the same way I did the dome. Uh, and then for the detail bits on the top of the uh, dome here, I cut this out of quarter inch PVC. It's a foamed PVC. I put a little uh, pin in the middle of it so that I can keep it centered. And then for the uh, cross pieces there, I'm cutting these out of eighth inch PVC. It's the same material, it's just white. I cut out this circle piece at an angle so that it, that it will fit right like that. And then I can heat this piece and bend it down to shape. Uh, all four of these will be added to that. And uh, then I'll fill in all the grooves with a little bit of Bondo, sand that down. Uh, so this outer ring has now been filled in with the first layer of Bondo. Uh, before doing that, I sanded down the uh, plastic underneath it. Uh, and then now I'm just sanding lots of Bondo. So, you know, sanding block, respirator, and uh, some good old-fashioned elbow grease. Quick update, I've done a whole bunch of things to the shield. Mostly I've added these stripe pieces. These are foam PVC that I've gone in with a heat gun and heated them until they could bend. And then I pressed them into the shield uh, until they cooled and they stay that shape. They were then glued down to the face of the dome and right now what I'm doing is filling in all the edges and seams that were uh, created. First with Bondo for some of the bigger things and now I'm going in with this uh, glazing and spot putty uh, to fill in more of the uh, detailed pieces. This is pretty close to done. I know it looks really hideous but my plan right now is to get it primed and sanded and then use this as a vacuum forming buck to create a shell so that the front of the shield will be all one solid piece. So I've got the shield all primed up, ready to go, and I even built, blam, a brand new vacuum form table that should be big enough to hold the shield when suddenly I realized that I forgot to build these little raised up bits on the edge of the shield. So, uh, I cut these out of uh, eighth inch PVC like I did with these strips right here. And I just glued them down to the edge and now I'm filling in the edges with Bondo and a little bit of spot putty. And then once that's done, uh, then I can vacuum form it. Hit it. All right, this is a piece of PVC pipe that is the diameter of the handle, and I'm gonna put it on the lathe to uh, put these grooves in it. But then to do the pommel, I decided to add a little bit of material to it. So I glued one of these tiny cups onto it there and filled that with some uh, polyurethane resin. This is, this is the same stuff that I use to make the uh, cone for the spike. Uh, so this whole thing will get stuck in the lathe and I'll uh, put all the grooves in it and shape the pommel. So here is the handle now. I've run it through the lathe to put all these lines on it. And uh, the pommel piece, which is just um, that uh, polyurethane resin, is now the nice shape that I want it to be. I've also put these pieces together and I've got my uh, threaded rod there that will attach this to the back of the shield. 
The back of the shield is a big piece of quarter inch MDF that I've cut into a circle. And then all of these pieces are going to simulate planks. So I've cut them out of quarter inch MDF and I've cut these grooves into them uh, that will make them look like uh, wooden planks. The functional parts of this are T-nuts that I've JB welded into place. These pieces will get glued down uh, with some wood glue. Uh, for example, this piece here lines up just like that. And the handle will screw into it just like that, all the way in. So all of these will get attached to this piece right here, which is the vacuum formed front of the shield. While we made a lot of progress on the shield in this episode, we still have a lot more work to do, so we'll keep doing that in the next episode.